Bismillah. Uh, how are you? Today I will show you how to create a map of different soil types. This type you can use it if you want. For me, for my example, in my case, I want to create a map of K factors. This factor I can use it in the Russell or Russell model if I want to quantify the erosion rate. So uh, I need to to take samples from uh, the field uh, from the field from for my example I'm working on watershed which uh, uh, of name is a gear it is, lo is located in Algeria especially in Bashar state so this is the shape of my watershed I want to create a, a map of different soil types so I need to get a samples from the field for me this is the samples which I have taken from the field for example this is a sample number three sample number four you need to create and to use digitizer tool to uh, create your samples for example sample number 14 is depending on your samples and uh, to export uh, export uh, this point uh, shape to work on it in ArcGIS so you need to export vector data and go to shape file and points for example sample sample like this and uh, export draw box like this and OK, you can click OK to export the shape uh, the shape file. So for me, I have uh, already uh, create my uh, sample file. This is my sample file. You need just to open your sample file by add data here and uh, take your sample file and click right on this sample file. So you need just click right on the sample file, open attribute table and add field. Add field for me, for example, K factor and double and OK. Yes. For me, I can't here uh, edit this field. So you need to uh, click on editor, start editing and open another time your shape or sample file. So you need K factor in general is between 0 and 1. So it's depending on your uh, soil type. After analyzing, uh, for example, of course, uh, your sample, uh, you can uh, know the type of your soil, for example, uh, silt or uh, limon or uh, sand. It's depending on the type which you have found uh, by analyzing this uh, this type. So here, in K factor, you need to insert real numbers real numbers and I have told before that the K factor is between 0 and 1 so to avoid to avoid the writing integers for example like here one. tell me this message the value you have entered is out of range or is not a real number so I want to answer for example 1 uh, uh, 100 or for example 10 and when I export my raster I will use raster calculator to uh, divide this on 10 to have the real numbers so for for example 0 1 I have answered 10 for 0 0.75 I will answer 75 for 0 0.5 I will answer 50 for uh, for example, for uh, 40, I will answer uh, for 0 0.5, uh, 0.4, I will answer 40. For 0 0.35, I will answer 35. For 0 
25 and uh, 25 for 0 0.1 I will enter 10 and uh, that's on just to, to complete your uh, your samples I will uh, complete uh, my samples depending on your soil types so this is uh, just random numbers that's for example uh, and uh, you can apply on your case like this and close this and stop editing save yes so now I need to go to our toolbox our toolbox take just some time to open then I need to go to 3D Analyst Tools, Tin Management, and create Tin. I will use samples, output, for example, I will just uh, go to my file and type, for example, soil, uh, soil, save and uh, ok I will wait and create the soil uh, map or soil chain so this is my soil tin using my uh, samples so what I need to do now I will insist this is just example it's not real numbers just for this example so you need to convert this uh, this tin to a raster so you need to 3d analyst conversion and tin to a raster like this import tin soil for example see users I will go to my field and soil raster like this and save and ok ok so this is the raster which I have uh, which I had this is the raster I insist that I have entered here uh, values multiply in 100 so I need to divide this raster by 100 so I need to go to our toolbox and to, to go to spatial analyst tools and map algebra raster calculator for example real soil real soil equal soil divide on 100 just to have real values okay 
sound waves so as you see this is the map of the real values as you see here this is the exported uh, exported raster of uh, soil for with the real rasters and you can change uh, the color to have more uh, detail for example like this okay or I'll change uh, for this apply okay so you need now raster to mask or to clip the raster depending on your watershed for me I will open my watershed shape okay so this is the what my watershed shape this is gear watershed so I need to mask just to take the, uh, the region of my watershed so I need to go to search type mask and extract by mask input raster raster and input watershed and extract for example and ok and ok so uh, when you want uh, when you do that uh, you will have uh, this uh, mask or this uh, produced raster this is my produced raster using my mask I will just adjust uh, the colors to have uh, to make it more clear apply so this is my raster uh, depending on my water shed so this is as I told my raster so I hope that I was clear thank you for your attention and assalamu alaikum